Hello, hello, and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. This is Gear City. Uh, we're doing a new a new game, and I'm going to call this Gladiator Limited. We're going to start in 1900. We're going to leave it on normal difficulty. I'm not going to mess with the map at all. Um, and I think that's all we need to do here. Uh, at some point, it's going to give me... Oh, maybe I missed that option, but it should give me the option to decide how many AI opponents I want. I didn't see it this this particular time, but... Um, so I've done a couple... I did one company that went bankrupt, and then I've got one that's been successful. So... Uh, I think what I'd like to do is eventually make this a global company. So maybe I'll build our headquarters in New York. And we want to call this, uh, oh, my name is Bluebelly. And the company name is Gladiator Limited. So can we find something here that looks like a sword? Maybe a sword or a... I don't really see anything that looks like a sword. Or really anything that looks... Huh? Okay, I guess the base game shield is what we'll go with. <clears throat> I uh, So, if you're wondering sort of what we're doing here, we're, we're starting in January of 1900, and we're building a car company. And this company will... We have to develop parts and then develop the vehicle. Like I said, I've, I've done a little bit just to play around and, and learn some things, but I'm no expert. So the first thing we want to do is take a look in this demand. We want to find out what is in demand in our area. So it's 1900, so they've got this old school Phaeton. I'll show you an image of one of those. That's kind of I, uh, they're very small. You'll, you'll see in a minute. So a Phaeton, a luxury sedan, or a sedan, something like that would be best. Now, because I've got a little bit of advanced knowledge, I'm not going to, I'm not going to spend a ton of time poking around here at the very beginning. Um, I am actually going to license a chassis and engine in a gearbox and then we're going to fast forward well, we're going to use those to make a, a <clears throat> excuse me to make a vehicle to begin to sell as quickly as we possibly can so we want to find <clears throat> excuse me a chassis with uh, a good overall performance uh, relative to the price that we have to pay to get it, uh, to use it in our vehicle. So this one here uh, is a 49 overall. We only have to pay an $8 royalty every time we use it, and the total cost is only 240 So this Model C looks like what we might go with. It's a front engine, rear wheel drive, carriage frame with leaf springs. Remember this is 1900, so uh, we don't want to call it the seal. Um, actually, what I want to do for these, I'm going to go ahead and keep it what they called it, which is the Model C. That's just the name of the chassis. So we'll remember that Model C for carriage. That should be good to go. We're going to go ahead and agree to that. Now we're going to find an engine for it. We're going to go to overall. Now, as you can see, there's tons of different things you could look for. If you need a certain size or you want a certain power level, there's a lot that you can sort by. I'm going to sort by overall because we want to get the best overall engine. Again, so this is a premium engine, 
but I don't want to pay this cost. Uh, I don't I don't want to be paying that much for every vehicle we produce. This has a slightly higher signing fee, but the royalty looks reasonable. Uh, these aren't impressive motors, right? It's only two horsepower. And it's called the booby? That's funny. Okay, let's not get demonetized over this, right? Not that I am. I'm just just a joke. Just a joke. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and keep their name, the W1 two horsepower. I like to have my engine horsepower in the name anyways. So this is a T-head gasoline naturally aspirated. Really, we're just looking to get this first car. Uh, we just want it to be profitable. We don't really care much more beyond that. Okay, so that we got an engine for it. Now let's go ahead and select a gearbox. And if you're not too familiar with cars, a gearbox is just... What you use to change gears. Um, here's one with a slightly higher royalty. So these, I feel like we're splitting hairs here between these. How many are we really going to sell? Do we want the lower royalty or the higher royalty and lower signing fee? I think I'm going to go ahead and go with this, <laughs> the Chihuahua. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go with this T1 four-speed manual because they don't have we don't have any uh, any automatics yet so we'll go ahead and agree to this and now what we're gonna do now that we've got a few things we're gonna come in here to to this now remember we looked before at the different so here's a here's what a phaeton looks like do we want to make one of those hmm, I don't know I think I'm gonna go with the sedan so we're going to use this chassis, and we're going to use this engine, and we're going to use this gearbox. And we'll hit OK on that. We're going to go, we only have a few choices here. Old-timey, old-timey, or old-timey. Now what you could do is uh, you can go in here. Uh, I don't want to do that, so never mind. Don't save. I'm sorry. I, I, did, I never meant it. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry about that. We're going to just redo this quickly. Um, what I was trying to show you is that you can change it yourself. But that, that seems to have failed for me. So we've got our basic idea here. We'll go with the McRally. And then here we come in and adjust our, our materials. This is basically to say like, do we want to go mass market, like dirt cheap, and try to get, you know, sell as, as many as we can for cheap? Or do we want to go after the luxury market? And so 1900, remember, there's not going to be a lot of people being able to afford cars. But I, I'm going to go ahead and try to compete at the lower mid range, I think. Uh, I do want to make sure we're a little bit focused on safety and dependability. And in terms of development pace, you can do this. Basically, you can pay more money. Like right now, this is going to cost us $330,000, and we only have $750,000. So do we want to do this? I mean, we couldn't. <laughs> we don't have the money for that. We would bankrupt ourselves on our first project. But this is uh, a long time, so we don't want to, we don't want to go that far. Probably something like a year, 10, 10 months sounds perfect. That means we'll have a car ready to put out in the market in 10 months. And we can choose our demographic. Do we want male, female, and neutral? And then the age. And then this is like a class. So are you going dirt poor for like ultra low class, low class, low middle? Like ideally, I think I want this car to be for the lower middle class. But at this price point, we're probably more realistically upper middle class in 1900. Uh, that's what the game defaulted to. I'm going to shoot for middle just for kicks and see how that, how that works. So we'll go ahead and build. This is where we get to use a name. Uh, since we're going with the Gladiator brand, uh, our first foundational sedan is going to be the Gladius. Or Gladius, depending upon how you want to pronounce it. Uh, that's the basic, <clears throat> excuse me, the basic sword of the gladiators. So now we're going to uh, be basically 
we only have one we only have one factory which we can't access because we have no active vehicles but once we have that we'll be able to see our factory we'll be able to see our branches so we're gonna at least let this let this episode get us through selling some cars and then we'll talk strategy on what will be next these turns go really fast because we're just spending money on R&D to make our car. Now we can come up here and get this little pop out. If we were still developing our car, it would tell us how much time was left here. If we were building a new factory, it would tell us that here. Here it shows us we created a new vehicle model. That means that now we want to go in here. Here it is. We've got the New York plant with five lines. At the New York plant, we've got a, the year 1900, a Gladiator Limited Gladius right here. So we're not sure how it's going to do in the market. We don't want to overproduce. So I'm going to make three lines, and we're going to make, let's make 40 of these cars. And then we want to come over here to the branches. And now if it... This number has been the most complicated thing to me because it depends how many you're making and it depends where all you're selling. The only branch we have right now is New York. But that's a pretty big market. So I think we should be able to sell 40 cars in New York. I'm going to make this a nice round 1700 number. Uh, we'll apply that. And I don't need to mess with the shipping distance because that distance is from the factory to the branch. But if we do okay selling in New York, then maybe we can add in branches in other American cities. But for right now, I want to show you down here. This is why we're going to go with that 1700 number. Because like here's, here's another sedan selling in New York. And it's 5,000. And our car is better than that. We're coming in at a 32 rating. Which means we are currently the best car on the market. So we could probably get away with a little bit higher than our 17. But what I'd love to be able to do, see they're only selling 13, 12 per month. So I'd love to be able to come in and outsell them by a lot. So let's see. This, we're, this is going to be our first run in with our new vehicle. Let's simulate, see how it does. Okay, so we lost 30,000. We produced 40 of them. And we only sold nine. So we way overproduced. The good news is now we can shut down production. And we should be able to make back the loss quickly. But if we're only selling nine in New York, I don't know that we want to mess around with too many other markets just yet. Like eventually I'd like to open a Chicago branch. But I don't want to do that this early in the game. <clears throat> Long about, I would think, 1910, we will probably see... Let's go ahead and simulate. Well, not. we don't want to do a year. We're going to have to... Pro Maybe I should just do one line, making 10 of these. Now, there's a lot of stuff here that I'm not even touching, and I'm sure it drives the dev crazy watching me play this game and not, not get into all the other tools, but there's some other things here having to do with labor and production that I, I'm not even touching. Uh, so now that I made it just the one line, maybe I will go ahead and simulate a year. The thing that I don't want to have happen with this series is that we get too bogged down in minor details. I want us to make sure that we're making progress. Uh, and then after a few years, we'll go ahead and start on another vehicle. So we are sitting at 273,000. We can, we, so we can't look at all those months that I just simulated through right here, but we can, I believe, is that going to let me go back a, a month? Nope, that's going to go there. Okay, 
So uh, for city sales right now, we're only selling in New York, so it, it's just our numbers here. But it is helpful to see a breakdown of what this looks like. You know, it's costing us thirteen thousand dollars to make these ten vehicles, and then we sold thirteen because we have some extras. So that means you know we're we're clearing some money, which is good. It's not great, but it's it's low money because of where we're at in the in history. So I don't want to be too aggressive in overproducing when it's still so early. One of the things that's cool about this game uh, here's these memos so you can look do, do, do. it tells you when new technologies come along so now we can make an eight cylinder vehicle there's a bunch of contracts which is what I wanted to look at it also tells you your new competition so these are new companies starting up and the dev told me that the companies that come into the game are based on real companies so you know we'll see a company that's basically General Motors and Ford and BMW and all the big car companies will enter the game at some point so we're competing with them which I think is really exciting so we're still only in 1901 it's about to be 1902 I think I'll go ahead and see what we can do for R&D. Let's see what we can uh, design for ourselves so that we're not leasing someone else's equipment. Oh, we only have carriage frames this early. All right, never mind. I'm I'm just going to I'm going to keep it moving. I thought we might have a different chassis by now, but if we're only operating with carriage frames, I think I'm going to be a, you know, we won't call it bold, that's too strong of a word, but we're going to go ahead and make 20 per month. I think the demand overall is rising. We're still doing pretty good in our market, so we're going to go ahead and zoom through this year, see how we're looking at the end. I'm, I'm just looking down here, watching this, <laughs> watching that number. It'll go like up a couple, down a couple, up a couple. So now we've got 86 in reserve. So that's a bit much. We're going to go ahead and drop production down and sell out our stock. I do think I might it might be worth building a new branch if we can do it in a way that is cost effective. Let's see what oh that's St. Louis, I'm sorry. I meant Chicago. It's farther. I should know. Chicago's on the lake. Um so the per, here here's the issue, right? The per capita in the cities, in New York and Chicago, is only three hundred and seventy-two, and I'm trying to sell a car for seventeen hundred dollars. So this is clearly not made accessible to the common person yet. So and and we'll have to pay shipping to get them, to get the cars from New York out to Chicago. So I don't know if it's too. Did I click St. Louis again? I don't know if it's too early to do this, but I do want to price it out. So let's just say we want to do a moderate size branch. So it's only, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm laughing because this price later in the game is way more. So I think it's probably in our best interest to build a bunch of these now if we can. I'm going to go ahead. It'll be a hit, but relative to our wealth well I guess as our wealth eh, maybe relative to our wealth it's not that different but I'm gonna go ahead and build a branch there it'll take a while it'll show us here what it takes to build that branch why doesn't it say it should say something here built a oh did it do it instantly oh I thought it needed construction well we'll go We'll go to the New York. So when you do, when you do your um, headquarters, you automatically get a factory and one and a branch. So what I do so that I don't mess things up and have different prices in different places, I just go to the the existing one and click apply to all. 
So now when you come to Chicago, it'll already have that price. And then we can look down here. Uh, our the the quality of our vehicle is still 32. So we've got a few of them beat here. It looks like this one is better, but it's $2,200. So that's even worse. You know, they're even higher outside of the range of potential customers. So I think we've got a shot to still sell some in in Chicago as well. What are we? How many are we making? I think I told my factories to chill out, right? Yeah, because we have 86 in storage. So let's just do one month and see what it what adding the Chicago branch does. So we sold 27, and then we can break it down by city and look here. We've got yeah. So we paid 700 dollars in shipping cost. And we sold 14 in Chicago. Nice. I think. We want to do two lines. We're going to make, what did I say? It sold 27 that month. Let's just make 30. We're going to make 30 every month. We do have some overage. So maybe I'll bump that down to 25 so they're better quality. 25 every month. And we're going to go ahead and simulate through the year of 19. Oh, three. Let's see where we're at here. See if we're if we've, we've bankrupted ourselves. Oh, are we at, at two seventy three? I think. So we are losing money. We're missing sales though. We sold all that overage, and we're now missing sales. <clears throat> That's good. That means there's demand for our vehicles. <clears throat> oh goodness. We hardly even, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. So that's, we're selling more in Chicago than New York. Very interesting. I bet it's competition. I bet the New York branch has more competition at our price point. There's us, and then they have, well, I bet we could, we could charge more. I wonder if there's a market that, like if we went out to San Diego or something like that, competition, who's out there? Let's look at the competition for a sedan. <coughs> Interesting. Are there no sedans in San Diego in 1904? Let's try Houston. Okay, let's go with a city we know uh, we know about. Maybe this. Oh, okay. So it's, this is not broken. So would we be the first to market? What on earth? Are you saying we be? I feel like this is. They've got a per cap of three eighty five in Phoenix, and a per cap of three eighty five in L A. Oh, it looks like that must be the same for the whole country at this stage. Three eighty six in New Orleans, even better. That's funny. That's not the data I expected. I'm just thinking, you know, we've got this huge projected growth in LA and no competition. There's no companies in LA. Let's build a branch there. I don't know if there would be any demand. It might be a waste of time. I'd rather have it and not, and, you know, what the heck? Let's go for it. This is the what the heck, let's go for it financial strategy. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, I'm not sure what this is going to do to demand, so I'm just going to assume. Hmm. Look at that. Look at that. We missed all those sales in Chicago. Uh, we have expenses running, running the branch, or was that just building the branch? Expenses. Branch costs.
I guess we could pro- I don't know if we can shut it down. Oh! Aha! Yes, well this is a problem. I forgot to tell them what to sell our car for. So let's try that. See if they sell any now. And we are missing sales, so let's go ahead and bump this. Let's, yeah, let's go ahead and make 50 of them. See how they do. Oh dear me, I can already tell this is going to be a hard series for me to rein it in. Oh wow, we lost 23,000? Oh gosh, I hope this isn't a, a one and done uh, series. Okay, welcome to our company, now we're broke. Thanks for coming. Alright, I think I just overproduced a little there. Should I bump the price of the car at all, though? I mean, this seems like... I'm not great at math, but... Well, we made 11 extra. Even still, this plus this... We've got distribution cost and admin cost. Maybe this was a bad idea? Because that's a huge chunk of change for us right now. I mean, we still made money. Well. No, not yet. Hold on. Uh, let's see how our credit is. This could be a, a way out. Uh, will let us issue bonds. Our financial, we can successfully issue bonds. So if we get in dire circumstances, we can raise money this way if we need to. There's also a bank loan and a line of credit. So if we get in a bind, if we're getting too low and our car's not selling anymore, we, we know we have that as an option. So let's go ahead and zoom through 1904. We'll get to 1905, and, and we'll see if we can make these episodes five in-game years at a time. So we sold out of the f making 50, right? Is that right? I forgot already. Okay, 50 is a little high, but it would give us a little room for growth. Let's go ahead and bump this down one line, and we'll bump this up to, we're going to make 40 per month selling in three cities and hopefully the shipping costs won't kill us let's go ahead and just do the whole year let's say fair let's see what happens i'm gonna guess we're gonna lose in this year we're gonna lose 30 grand so i say it'll be 152. oh my oh oh my So we're going to sell these cars next month. And then we're going to have no vehicles and no cash. We're going to go bankrupt. Is that right? Now will it let us have credit? Yeah, see, that's so funny. And then that year that I simulated, now we can't we can't bail out. Well, no, 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 no. All right, I'm gonna save this episode, and I think the mistake that I made was trying to expand to LA. Honestly, I think that was just too early. And instead of cutting this, I'm going to keep this episode. What we're going to do next time is start all over uh from 1900 and I'm going to I'm going to make the decisions faster because we'll have done it. So hopefully this, you know, the setup and everything will be done faster <coughs> and we'll try to get to 1910 and keep the company profitable.
sorry that I screwed it up, but at the same time, like I think this is part of the point of playing a game like this. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll pick up for here next time. Bye for now.